Right. What we're going to be doing in this video is going to be getting started on the IK aiming system. So I gave you a little teaser a while back as to what that looked like, but here's kind of the end result that we'll end up having. So you have the option, You there's no animation for aiming, however, it brings the sight right to the center of the screen. You can switch between optics like so, and everything is additive. So I can shoot, and I'll have additive recoil animations and same thing goes for you can actually reload while aiming and all that kind of stuff as well and it's a very easy to way to add dynamic sway dynamic recoil and all that kind of stuff so think of like a uh, tarkov for example when it comes down to aiming so to begin what we're going to do is i have a fresh first person template project so go ahead and create one of these and then we're going to import some assets so i'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and just call it uh, Tutorial Assets. Open that on up. And as always, in the description, you'll have a link to download stuff. So that'll be this ADS Tutorial Assets compressed archive, extract it, and you'll find this folder. Oops. And we want to import pretty much everything in here. So here we have first person animations, third person animations, the firearm itself, and the red dot that we will be using. So we can just drag and drop all these in. Import all. Alright, and I completely forgot to set the animations. So it'll import pretty much everything aside from the animation. So let's organize that real quick. And not create a... There we go. So there's the firearm, there's the red dot. Okay, good. So now let's just add in some animations. So we open up the first person folder. Let's go to our first person folder, animations. We're gonna drag and drop these two in it. Select the mannequin arm skeleton and import all. Then you'll have the basic idle and a basic really crappy reload animation. So next up, we want to bring in the third person mannequin as well because I like to have this as first and third person. However, for simplicity's sake, we're not gonna to touch on that. But what I'm referring to is, as you can see here, it works in third person as well. And I set this up so instead of it being aimed right to the center of the chest, it offsets and puts the stock closer to his shoulder and his cheek, so his head and neck aims down as well. That is also something we'll be covering. So that's the reason we're doing the third person mannequin as well. So we're going to go to import, add feature content pack, select the third person, add a project, and now we can go through and delete some stuff. Okay, once all that is brought in, we can go through and delete some folders. So we have this third person folder, contains random meshes for the, uh, the level that's in that, uh, what do you call it, template. So we're just going to delete that. Force delete. We have this third person blueprint. We have the overview and maps folder. We can delete that. And actually, I think we, yeah, we don't even need the, we don't need this folder at all, so let's just get rid of it. Now we have the mannequin, which contains the basic animations and our mesh that we do need. So let's go to the animations folder, go to our third person animation, and we're just going to drag and drop this rifle hip. It's from the animation starter pack, and select the mannequin skeleton to import. Now we have this guy. Okay, so for the most part, we are pretty much good to go. Now a brief, let's actually save real quick. Now here's a brief overview of how this little course is going to go. So I'm going to be creating the initial aiming portion. So just where you actually aim down the sights, like so, and blueprint. So that's going to be just for getting everything working and kind of like a block out. So we can also have a visual reference as to what to do. So for example, I have this old original animation blueprint. We would go through and we would kind of follow through step by step and convert that to C++ later on. And then afterwards, again, it's not going to have any smooth aiming or anything. Once we get that set up, we move over to our project here and we start actually making our own animation instance in C++ that is going to drive the system. So for example I have this 
animation instance right here, which I use to create these animations blueprints off of. So the animation blueprints are pretty much being driven by our C++ animation instance that literally controls everything related to the aiming portion. However, the only thing we are not going to be creating with C++ is going to be the actual animation graph. So this animation graph, this is going to be solely done in Blueprint. It looks like a tremendous pain in the butt to do this in C++, so I'm just going to leave it and not worry about it because pretty much everything demanding is going to be done in our tick for the animation in C++, so we don't have to worry about any of that. And on top of that, it's going to be very simple. So we now have everything set up. We are good to go, and we are pretty much ready to continue the project. The only thing I want to do now, just for the sake of simplicity, is go to our character, the header and .cpp, and this is optional. If you don't feel like doing this, you can just drop the video right now. But I'm going to go ahead and delete the VR-related stuff inside of here. So like VR gun, VR muzzle location, motion controllers, the using motion controller on reset VR and the touch data enable touch screen movement and that's all I'm going to go over to the .cpp and do the exact same thing so say bye bye to all the VR and we should not have to do any of that Get rid of our input bindings for VR. If using motion controllers, we're going to delete the if and the else and just bring that over so it does still spawn the projectile, like so. Get rid of on reset VR, begin touch and touch, and the giant comment. And then the enable touchscreen movement function down at the very bottom. And then we can go through and make sure the project builds. Okay, mine's giving me a warning about live coding, so let me restart. Okay, so the project finished building. We're good to go. The only thing I want to do now is go to compile and enable live coding. Yeah, I figured. But we have that enabled. I'm going to have to restart, obviously. So then we are good to go. So whenever we make a change to our .cpp files for quick iteration, we just press Control alt f 11 and it does a quick recompile of that file and we are good to go and test okay so we have everything we need we have our animations we have our gun let's double check and make sure that imported properly which it did we got the beautiful blue we have our red dot with all the materials we're gonna have to set those up and yeah so in the next video we're just gonna go through and set up the red dot itself so set up the materials we are going to set up these sockets for the aiming in the firearm and attach the red dots to it so that way we can visually have something to aim off of as well and set up the aim socket on the reflex side as well. I almost forgot that. As well as, let's see, we'll see. There's one more thing. Let me think real quick. Oh, right. And we're going to set up our skeleton here. I can load it up. Do work properly. So we're going to have virtual bones that control the actual aiming portion of it and i'll try to explain what all is going on once we get to that point so that's gonna be it for this video uh, i'm probably gonna be releasing the next video on the same day as this one so that'll be fine now regarding the patron this is going to be a patron only series that is going to it's going to be temporary so for roughly probably 15 to 30 days the C++ portion of the code is going to be done solely through Patreon. They're going to be the only ones that have access to it. If you want ac early access to it, it only costs a dollar. And you get, obviously, access to that and any other early access videos that I have listed. Once that 15 or 30 days is up, I will begin rolling out once a day each video for YouTube so everyone can see it. So this, I just need to, <laughs> well, long story short, college is kind of expensive. So... That's how this series is going to roll out. That's what we're going to do in the next video. Again, the blueprint portion where we just get it to be, it's going to be very snappy, but we get it aimed to the center of the screen is going to be done in blueprint. And obviously, as I stated, available on YouTube. No, not, the, not going to be behind Patreon or anything like that. So I will see you in the next video.